What's up, Vape Fam? Today, we're doing something a little bit different. We're putting the hardware aside. We're going to take a look at e-juice, specifically from 360 Vapors. Now, this juice was sent to me for the purpose of this review. It's a juice that I've had before that I really, really enjoyed. I first came across these guys while I was down at a vape meet in Columbus. Uh, fell in love with, well, we'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, but first, it's a seven juice line. There's seven flavors. I have the flavor card here. Little menu. It goes over all the different flavors they have. There is an eighth juice. It is called Nog. It is an eggnog e-liquid and it is only available around Christmas time. Uh, there's still some left in the shop, so if that sounds appealing to you, uh, definitely check it out. I think I, I still have a little bit left on the shelf. Uh, it is really good. It is Spot on eggnog with a little bit of candy cane like peppermint mixed in. Uh, it's the peppermint brings it down to like an all day vape level. It, otherwise, it'd be a little rich, I think, to vape all day. But it, it's fantastic. It's really good. Um, we're also going to be doing our February giveaway. I will be giving two winners uh, each a sample pack of 360 vapor juice. I'll be ordering that as soon as the winners are announced. That way, you can pick your nicotine level. And go from there. Uh, so let's get started. All right, I'm gonna be vaping this on the Temple Mini on a series box that I built a while back. Uh, first one we're gonna start with is gonna be Julius. Julius is defined as a sweet orange smoothie flavor with a hint of vanilla. So good, guys. Uh, you, the vanilla really comes through. The orange isn't that heavy citrus orange. It's like a sweet orange. Um, it goes together really well. I, I don't know if I'd call it smoothie, per se. I've never really had a straight-up orange smoothie. It, it's supposed to be modeled after an orange Julius. Uh, you may have had them at, like, Dairy Queen or Orange Julius. And the flavor's there. It's definitely there. The, there's a little more vanilla than you get out of, like, an orange Julius, but it, it's good. I tried this at several different wattages, tanks, on a couple different drippers. The heat brings out the vanilla a little bit more, I feel, anyway. So if you vape it a little bit lower wattage, you're going to get more sweet orange flavor. Vape it a little bit higher wattage, you're going to get more orange vanilla flavor, almost like an orange cream. Uh, it's great vape. It, the whole line is pretty good. I've enjoyed the whole thing immensely. Uh, so let's take a look at the next one. Alright guys, the next one we've got is Goldeneye. Goldeneye is a rich and creamy custard dessert flavor. Nice, sweet, and decadently delicious. Uh, I did go through a phase of being addicted to custard flavors and basically just trying everyone under the sun, so... It is definitely a rich custard flavor. Uh, I mean, there's there's nothing mixed in with it. It's not like a strawberry custard or lemon or anything like that. It's just a straight custard flavor, and it is really sweet. It doesn't have that... When I went and tried a lot of different custard flavors, I'd get some that had that kind of almost chemically taste to it. It doesn't have that. It's just... It's just a straight-up dessert custard. Um... Little little bits of vanilla there on the end. Really sweet aftertaste. I, I can I can feel the after the sugary kind of aftertaste on my tongue. It's not a sweetener taste. It's just like a really kind of flavorful vanilla taste. I guess it's it's, it's a great vape. It's very smooth. No throat hit. Uh, ran it in a tank. Came through great in a tank. Uh, I tried it in the Cleto and the Heracles Plus. Both both tanks really brought the flavor out and it didn't have any problems with it. No wicking issues. These are really high VG juices. Uh, max VG. Um, with no problem. Flavor's there. Yeah, if you like custard, you're, you're going to love this one. It's fantastic. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Alright guys, next one is Maniac. Maniac is one of my favorites in this juice line. 
like I said, the whole line is good, but there are a few that really, really stand out, and Maniac is one of them. Uh, it is defined as, just like a wild ape, you will go bonkers over this banana pudding with vanilla wafers. It is so good. It is everything the description says, and it, it is one of the few pudding and wafer combinations that you actually taste the vanilla wafer comes through so smooth. The banana pudding, the banana is not overpowering, which I am incredibly thankful for. Every other banana anything I've tried, usually you get just full banana flavor and then like little tiny hints of whatever's left. But this is just, it's banana pudding and vanilla wafers. It is 100% what the description says. Uh, at the higher wattage range, like here on the series box, is where you really start to taste the wafer. At the lower wattage range, it is more of a banana pudding. Uh, the, the higher wattage range, you almost get like a, a creamy flavor to it. comes through great. I would definitely recommend this one at the higher wattage range, just because there's so much more flavor to it. The, the creaminess of the pudding, the, the way the wafer stands out, So good. Uh, the banana, the banana is a fruit banana. It's not like that candy banana that a lot of people use. It's just really, really good. Really smooth. No throat hit on this one either. Uh, let's move on to the next one. All right, guys. The next one is going to be Escape. Escape is a pina colada flavor sensation that sends your taste buds on vacation. Okay. This one is one that I actually recommend at a little bit lower wattage. Uh, at the higher wattage, the, the coconut kind of tapers off a little bit. It just doesn't stand out as well. Uh, lower wattage in the tanks that I ran it in, tried it in, it, I got a lot more coconut flavor. At the higher wattage on a series box, yeah, the coconut, coconut definitely falls off a little bit. Um, it's not a straight-up pina colada flavor. I, I think it's more of just a really natural coconut flavor mixed with like a, a little bit of, I don't want to say creaminess, but a, a little bit of creaminess. It is like a creamy coconut vape. It's pretty good. Uh, it's not my first pick out of this line, but if you like pina colada, you might like this one. If you like the flavor of coconut, you probably definitely like this one. Coconut's not my first choice, but it's it's still a good smooth vape. Definitely a little bit better at the lower wattage range though. So this is not the ideal setup for this juice. Uh, so let's go ahead and we'll move on to the next one. Alright guys, the next one is going to be Keeley. Now, Keeley is a key lime custard tart with sugar cookie crust. What I love about Keeley is how much of that cookie comes through. At higher wattage, it is a cookie with a little bit of sweet key lime to it, and it is really, really good. There's no citrus kick that you get with that key lime flavor in a lot of other juices. It's incredibly, incredibly smooth vape. The cookie is so good. Just, just so good. The key lime really complements it well because they didn't overpower with the key lime. Uh, I would almost say it's not a key lime tart with sugar cookie. It's a, sh a sugar cookie with a little bit of key lime. It comes through exceptionally. The key lime is definitely there. I mean, you definitely taste it, but it doesn't overpower at all. The, the key lime is incredibly sweet. It just blends really well with that sugar cookie. And again, for a citrusy flavor, any sort of lime flavor, you almost always get that throat hit, but it's it's really not even really there with this. Uh, the lower wattages, the cookie falls off. You get more of the lime flavor, so if you like lime more than you like cookie, try it at a lower wattage. You'll get a little bit more of that sweet uh, key lime flavor and a little bit less of the sugar cookie flavor. And there's a fly, and it's driving me nuts. Sorry. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll move on 
to the next one. Alright guys, the next one is Scarlet. Scarlet is my absolute favorite juice in this line. It's one of three flavors out of everything out there that I always have to have a bottle of. There's still a little bit left in a bottle on my shelf. Uh, this is the juice that I tried down there in Columbus and I just I fell in love with it. I had to have it. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a vape. Now Scarlet is defined as a sweet strawberry shortcake with a nice and creamy exhale. And when I first when they first told me that that was one of their better sellers, I thought to myself, oh no, another strawberry shortcake vape. I've tried a lot of them, didn't care for them. Uh, this one blew me away. It was so good. They say creamy exhale. I say more like icing. It it tastes to me like those little Debbie shortcake rolls, the strawberry shortcake rolls that you may have had when you were younger, or I don't know, last week, whenever you had them. Uh, the strawberry is sweet. The whole vape is incredibly sweet. It is a dessert vape. It is so so good. Yeah, it's, it's more like a strawberry shortcake with icing. It, the sweetness is there. The heat brings out a lot of that almost pastry flavor that you get out of those strawberry shortcake rolls and the cake flavor. Uh, the strawberry is sweet at any wattage I vaped it at. It's a very, very sweet strawberry, more like a strawberry glaze than uh, a straight-up strawberry. Uh, <clears throat> it's going to be one more. This is one I definitely recommend at higher heat ranges. Bring that flavor up. Bring the cake flavor out. The icing, the icing is more prominent at a little bit lower wattage, which I found strange. I kind of expected to stand out more at higher wattage vapes, but it it brings the sweetness down just a hair at the higher wattage. So if you want it even sweeter, which I doubt you're going to, uh, you can try dropping the heat range down just a little bit, and you're gonna you're gonna get a little bit more sweetness out of it. Uh, this is again my favorite by them. Uh, one of my all-time favorite flavors and a definite recommendation for me. You should try it. Give it a shot. Especially if you've tried other strawberry shortcake vapes and they fell short. Try this one. It's, it's phenomenal. Alright. Let's move on to the last one. Alright guys. The last one is called Sticky. Now, Sticky is a peanut butter and waffle vape with a nice drizzle of maple syrup. Okay. Sticky is a little bit strange to me. The waffle is definitely there, which in and of itself says a lot because usually the waffle flavor is the one that falls off the most. But the peanut butter and the syrup kind of blend together as opposed to giving you the unique flavor of each so it's not like a peanut butter and maple syrup it's this strange combination of the two yeah the it, it's I, I can't really define it it uh, there's definitely maple syrup there there's definitely like a peanut flavor there I don't know if I would call it peanut butter um, it's not that it's a bad vape it's that it's a little bit different than what you expect reading the flavor card. I think the peanut butter needs to stand out just a hair more, but again, it's juice. It's really subjective. Um, again, the waffle is definitely there. Uh, it is more of a waffle with just like a touch of syrup to it, and then like an aftertaste of a little bit of peanut butter. Um, yeah, I, I personally would like maybe just a little bit more peanut butter, or maybe something that stands apart from the maple syrup a little bit better. They do blend together a little bit. It is, again, a, a sweet vape, um, but not as sweet as some of the other ones, not as sweet as Scarlet, for example. Uh, the maple syrup is a lesser amount so that that waffle does kind of pop. Uh, so you taste a lot more waffle than anything, which 
It sounds weird when you say maple syrup, waffle, peanut butter, but the, the waffle is a prominent taste here. Now this was one that at different heat ranges the flavor didn't change very much. It was almost the same continuously. Um, fluctuating just barely the higher heat you do get a little bit more of the waffle. Uh, the lower heat ranges a little bit less waffle but it's still the prominent flavor so if you've been looking for a waffle vape try it out. Um, if you're looking for more peanut butter focused vape this, this isn't going to be the one for you. Uh, the peanut butter doesn't stand out the way you're used to. It's still a very good vape. Still a great flavor. It's just, I find it a little bit misleading. I expected a lot more peanut butter than, than I got. Uh, so with that, let's, let's go ahead and we'll do our recap. Uh, we'll do the giveaway information uh, and we'll take it from there. Alright guys, that was the juice line from 360 Vapors. All seven flavors from their main line, not counting the seasonal eggnog vape, which I've talked about a little bit in the beginning. Um, all their flavors are really good. Their eggnog flavor is fantastic eggnog flavor. Scarlet, my personal favorite, and one of my three all-the-time must-haves. Um, they really vape as they read. Uh, the flavors are pretty much on point, with the exception of things like sticky, where the peanut butter doesn't really shine through. It's more waffle flavored than it is anything else. Uh, Escape is more of a really natural coconut than that overly sweet pina colada coconut flavor. Um, everything else pretty much, like I said, vapes as it reads description wise. So let's talk about the giveaway. Uh, I'm going to be buying a sample a, a sample pack for two different winners. Um, to enter the giveaway all you have to do is hashtag 360vapors in the description or in the comments down below um, the link to the site will be in the description if you want to order juice from them Nog right now is on sale uh, $10 for a 30 ml bottle uh, normally all their bottles are $16 for a 30 ml bottle um, but as eggnog is you know a, a Christmas time uh, Thanksgiving time kind of thing uh, it is not the season for it anymore so once it's gone you'll have to wait until the end of the year to get it so it is ten dollars a bottle right now um, the rules for the giveaway other than the hashtag you must be eighteen or over to enter uh, that's pretty standard uh, you have to well you don't have to but if you live in a different country i will send it to you all i ask is that uh... if you know that you live in a country that has really really strict regulations against e-juice or nicotine products coming in please don't enter if it gets stopped at customs or something like that, um, then somebody's lost out on a chance at a, a really nice juice line to try out. Um, I would appreciate it if you are one of the winners. If you came back, let us know what you thought about the juice in the comments below. Uh, it's helpful to everybody involved. That way they get even more opinions on the juice. Uh, it, everybody's tastes are different. Juice is the most subjective part of vaping. Uh, flavors, I mean... What you like, I might not like. What I like, you might not like. It's just, it's very, very subjective. So more opinions help. So please let us know what you thought. Uh, the giveaway will run for one week. Um, let me know what. Let me know what you guys thought about this. This was my first juice review. Uh, again, 360 Vapors. Thank you very much for sending this line out for review. Um, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Otherwise, uh, I hope you found this video helpful. Like, subscribe, it helps me out. Like I said, leave any questions in the comments below to enter the giveaway. Hashtag 360Vapors, 360VAPORS. So, uh, see you guys soon. Till then, keep on vaping.